Installation Tools and Unpacking Inspection. Prepare the above tools before installation. Unpack and check the device and accessories. SG15 KTL M SG17 KTL M SG20 KTL M is a transformerless three-phase string inverter. Converts the DC power from the PV module into grid compatible AC power and fits it into the grid. Mechanical installation. Select the optimum installation location so as to ensure safe operation, long service life and sound performance. Take the back plate out from the cotton and mount it onto the wall at the appropriate position and height. Mark hole positions on the wall according to holes on the back plate. Drill holes according to the markings with a drill. Secure the nylon bolt into the hose with a rubber hammer. Lift the inverter to hang it on the back plate via the mounting ears. Fasten the inverter on the back plate with the screws. In case of mountable inverters, reserve a specific clearance between the inverters. Electrical connection. Unscrew the waterproof terminal of the AC connector counterclockwise. Strip 80 to 90 mm off the protective layer of AC cable. Strip about 12 mm off the insulation layers of all AC cables. Remove the internal rubber gasket if the outer diameter of the used cable ranges from 19-25 mm. Skip the step when the outer diameter is between 14 and 18 mm. Squeeze and hold the area shown in the figure to take out the terminal block. Thread the AC cable for appropriate lens through the waterproof terminal. Next. Insert the AC cable head into the cord and terminal. The cable of each corner corresponds to a terminal. Fix all cables to the respective terminals. Note particularly the positions of PE cable and N cable. Pull the cables back to ensure secure connection. Insert the terminal block into the connector until it snaps into place with a click sound. Secure the waterproof terminals clockwise. Disconnect the AC circuit breaker. Remove the waterproof cap of the AC terminal and insert the AC connector into the corresponding AC terminal on the bottom of the inverter. Connect the secondary PE terminal on the bottom of the inverter. Note that the grounding connection of the secondary PE terminal cannot replace the connection of the PE terminal in the AC wiring. Strip 7mm off the insulation layers of all DC cables. Insert the stripped cables into the cord and terminals and crimp them with a wire crimper. Lead the cables through cable glands and slightly pull them back. If the cables can be pulled out easily, it indicates 
that they are connected informally. If there is a click sound, it indicates that the cables are firmly in place. Pre-fasten the MC4 terminal by hand at first, and then fasten the terminal with the MC4 wrench. Rotate the DC switch to the off position. Check the DC cable connections for polarity correctness and make sure the open circuit voltage does not exceed the input upper limit 1100 volt of the inverter. Insert the positive and negative connectors into the corresponding DC terminals and ensure correct polarity. Commissioning Rotate the DC switch to the on position. Observe the LED panel. And the inverter works normally when the operation indicator is in steady green. Install the communication module. Make sure the RJ45 interface of the Wi-Fi module is correctly connected to the network port. After one minute, if the Wi-Fi module runs normally, the run indicator and the COM indicator flash periodically and the NAT indicator glows steadily. <laughs>